Hello traders, FS Pepcoletti here. Today is Monday, October 16th, and I'm going to be analyzing the SPX 500 or the S&P 500, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So I still think we're in an uptrend right here. I still think we need to go up at least one more time to complete a one, two, three, four, and five, probably go up and make all time highs before, which I do believe we are going to make another pretty good move to the downside. So let's head down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame is where you can see that this is most likely a one this looks like an abc of two i think this is a big wave three i believe we already have an abc of four in and i think we already are going up most likely to about the 4856 area to make this wave five probably to complete that big pattern on the monthly so let's keep going down to that daily time frame on the daily time frame, I think it's very clear this is a downtrend wave A. I think this is one, two, three waves up wave B. This is also very clearly a one, two, three, four, five pattern down right to the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Nice impulsive move up, break of structure. I think that pretty much proves that we have the end of an ABC correction, and this is most likely now going to start making higher highs, higher lows, probably all part of a wave five on the much longer time frames. So let's head down to that four hour time frame frame. On the four hour time frame, I think it's also very clearly to be a one, two, three, four, and five, probably a wave one of five. I think this is also very clearly made three waves down to the 38% Fibonacci level to make a wave two almost perfectly touched that 38 and now it's making an impulsive move up. I think there's a good chance this is already in a wave three and that it's going to continue to make higher highs, higher lows, most likely a wave three of wave five. So let's keep going down to that one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I mean, it definitely looks like one, two, three waves down to a fib level. It looks like the end of a Gretzen. I think there's a very good likelihood that this will continue the uptrend from here, making higher highs, higher lows, which tells me if I do see any moves to the downside, I'm going to be treating those as only corrections to the last wave up and if I get a chance to go long at the end of these moves to the downside ABC down impulsive up especially if it happens at a Fibonacci retracement of the last wave up those are exactly the trades I'd be looking for for the continuation of this uptrend which seems to be a wave three of wave five on the much much longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free discord group the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.